cataractcoach.com, the importance of Iowa geometry, biconvex, plano convex, and meniscus style lenses. Here's a patient who's highly myopic, and our capsular bag is now being filled with viscoelastic. The cataract's already been removed. And we're going to load up the IOL. Now, this is an IOL that's a very low power, plus four diopters. And this design of lens is a meniscus design. It's a three piece lens, six millimeter optic made of acrylic. But unlike this company's regular single piece acrylic lenses, which are all biconvex, this lens is a meniscus design, and that relates to its low Iowa power. The lowest power you'll find in this design of the single piece for the biconvex is six diopters. When we get to five, four, or even lower dioptric powers, even negative Iowa powers, these lenses all have a meniscus design, and that's deemed necessary in order to have the correct dioptric power. But what happens is the meniscus design changes some of our important assumptions that are done in IOL calculations. So the A constant of this meniscus lens is not the same as the A constant of a very similar lens of the same material, the same design, but with a biconvex shape. They'll be calculated differently. Now, how do you remember this? There are various ways of taking it into account, but remember, when you do have these ultra-high myopic patients, as we've discussed before, just make sure you aim for sufficient residual myopia. I prefer an artificial intelligence approach such as the lattice calc on iolcalc.com, but even then, don't aim for plano in someone who has a 30 millimeter long axial length. Aim for at least a little bit of post-op myopia, and I mean by that at least minus one, even minus two. Here comes the lens being put in the caps or bag. Remember, be very careful with this. The lens has to come in the correct orientation. With any lens that's single piece or even three piece, remember it has to have the anti-S orientation. And look at the thick edge of the lens. This lens does have quite a thickness to it, even though the IO power is so low. So if you have a patient who's gonna have a very low IO power and the low single digits or even the minus power, remember, it's likely going to be a meniscus design, and you should do your lens calculations differently. And certainly, always err on the side of keeping the patient just a little bit myopic.